Unit 3, Time Value of Money, Lecture 7, Compound Interest. In our previous lectures, when we've talked about time value of money and the period of time, we've always talked about a year. So all our examples have made reference to periods of one year. But actually, there's no reason why that time period can't be any length. I mean, we can start from as little as an hour, a day, a month, a year. We can also go continuously. The only change that we have to make when doing those calculations for the different periods of time is to adjust the interest rate. So again, the best way to demonstrate this concept of non-annual compounding, which is having periods that are different from a year, is to use an example. So suppose that you have a thousand rand available for investment. And after investigating the local banks, you have compiled the following table for comparison. Your question is, which bank should you deposit your funds in? The First National offers an interest rate of 10% and its compounding period is annual. The Second National Bank offers an interest rate of 10% but its compounding period is monthly. And the Third National Bank offers an interest rate of 10% as well but its compounding period is daily. So where to from here? Now because you will be investing money with this bank or with these banks, you will be interested in future values because you need to answer the question, which bank will offer you the highest future value and will pay you the most interest so you can make your decision. So in order to do this, because the compounding period is not annual anymore, we have to adjust our future value equation slightly. So now the future value equation, we start off with our present value, whatever it is you're investing, and the interest we're going to be compounding it with is not I anymore, but I divided by M, where M is the frequency of interest payments in a year. And we have to raise it to the power M times N, where N is the total number of years or total period you're interested in investing the money for. So if you're interested in investing it for two years and interest is paid half yearly, you will have a total of four periods, two times two. So using the information on the three banks from our example and assuming that we invest our 100 Rand for just one year, because First National Bank pays interest annually, we'll end up with 1100 Rand. Second National Bank pays interest monthly and here we end up with 1104 Rand and 71 cents after a year. And Third National Bank pays interest daily and here we end up with 1105 Rand and 16 cents. And what you'll notice is that as the period over which interest is paid increases, the investment increases in value. As an alternative to calculating future value, we can actually calculate what is called the effective annual rate of interest. So we can actually compare the interest rates offered by all three banks on an annual basis, taking into account the different compounding periods and the formula is given in this slide. So in this slide, we're going to use the information that's been made available in the example on the three banks, and we're going to calculate the effective annual rate of interest for all three of them. And the decision will be based on which one turns out to be the highest. And if we look at the effective annual interest rate for the three banks, first national is 10% because the compounding period is an annual one. Um, the second national bank's compounding period is monthly and its effective annual rate is 10.4%. Finally, the third national bank, whose compounding period is daily, its effective annual rate is 10.52%. So the bank that offers you or offers us the best return is the third national bank with the daily compounding. As mentioned previously, the compounding period can be any length of time and interestingly enough, the compounding period can also be continuous. In other words, at every instant, you can be earning interest. And if we look at this slide, the formula for compounding continuously is given as 
e to the power rt. So to find your future value, you take your present value and multiply it by e to the rt, where e is the exponential function, and it's equal to 2.718. r is the interest rate, and t is the total number of years, the total number of periods. So using an example, if we look at the fourth national bank, which is also paying 10% per year, but its compounding period is continuous, then if we have an investment of a thousand rand, its future value turns out to be 1,105 rand and 17 cents.